नेक्स्ट आर्टिकल फ्रॉम दिस यूनिट प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ रिमा इंटीग्रल रिमा नेम ऑफ दी मैथमेटिशियन वे आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट दिस प्रॉपर्टी फर्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी और यू एस ए थेरम वट इज दैट थेरम प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ रिमा इंटीग्रेशन फर्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी एवरी मोनोटॉमिक फंक्शन या फॉर्म ए बी इज इंटीग्रेबल एवरी मोनोटॉनिक फंक्शन मोनोटॉनिक फंक्शन मीन्स द फंक्शन विच इज आइदर नॉन इंक्रीजिंग और यू मे से नॉन डिक्रीजिंग नॉन इंक्रीजिंग और नॉन डिक्रीजिंग और इन अदर वर्ड्स वी से दैट फिर वी से दैट फंक्शन यफ इज अ मोनोटॉनिक ऑन ए बी देन यफ इज आइदर इंक्रीजिंग और डिक्रीजिंग फंक्शन ऑन दैट ए बी Here, increasing or decreasing means if function is increasing also we say that it is monotonic or in decreasing sequence is also monotonic here we assume that f is increasing sequence we assume that f is increasing sequence and also assume f of a less than f of b f of a Less than f of b. If it is not, otherwise f is constant function because this function is increasing. f of a is less than f of b. And if it is not there, function is constant. For all x belong to a b, we write f of x lies between f of a and f of b. Here we clearly say that function is clearly bounded. On A B. Now we know that the theorem regarding bounded function. This is one result that is a bounded function f on A B is integrable if and only if it happens. What is that? For each epsilon greater than zero, there exists a partition P on A B such that U F P minus L F P less than epsilon. This is one result which we use here. For epsilon greater than zero, there exists a partition P such that. What is this theorem? First, function is integrable if and only if. Means if function is integrable, then this condition is satisfied. And if this condition is satisfied, then function is integrable. Now we consider uh, we have to show that U F P minus L F P less than epsilon. And if uh, we are shown this, then ultimately function is integrable. Therefore, we consider for epsilon greater than zero, there exists a partition P such that. What is that partition? This is the partition. P is equal to a, say t zero, t one, t two, t n. With mesh, we know that the definition of mesh. That successive length of that successive intervals, it is less than epsilon upon f of b minus f of a, and this is our assumption because epsilon is small and epsilon upon f of b minus f of a again it is small. Let us consider the LHS of this e f p minus l f p can be written in this way. Our basic terminology is. About the Riemann integration, using that basic, we write here u f p as like this: m of f t k minus one t k and minus a small m for this lower f t k minus one t k. Here, this is the distance interval t k minus t k minus one for all k is equal to one to m. When we write this, this is the statement. Now, capital Y of this. What is that? T k minus one and T k. Here, capital Y of Y. Therefore, we write Y of T k. And here, small Y. Therefore, we write Y of T k minus one. Here, using this definitions, sigma Y of T k minus Y of T k minus one. We write this expression as it is, and then put 
mesh P or mesh of the partition is less than epsilon upon f of B minus f of A. Therefore, write in place of TK minus 1, TK minus 1, we write epsilon upon f of B minus f of A. And this is same as it is. Now put k is equal to 1, k is equal to 2, k is equal to 3. Then by continuously we uh, by putting we get only f of b minus f of a. Here f of b minus f of a. And here f of b minus f of a, f of b minus f of a cancel epsilon. And this is the our statement here Uf b minus L F less than epsilon. And hence we write the function is integrable. Only we consider here one case, either increasing, increasing function. But when we consider decreasing function, similarly by taking decreasing function, we can also prove that function is integrable. Therefore, either increasing or decreasing means it is monotonic. Therefore, every monotonic function, f on a is integrable.